Have you ever signed up for a new software tool and instantly felt lost? No clear instructions, no onboarding flow, just a blank screen and a bunch of buttons to figure out. Now imagine a different experience, one where the software guides you step by step, showing you exactly how to get started, complete key actions and unlock value. That's the power of a product tour. In this video, we'll break down what product tours are, how they've evolved, best practices for creating an effective one, and real world examples of successful product tours. We'll also show you how to use the UX principles of product tours to onboard employees to new software. Plus, we'll show you how WhatFix can help you build the ultimate user onboarding experience. A product tour is an interactive onboarding experience that walks users through the core features and functionality of a digital product. It's designed to accelerate user adoption by guiding them through the essential workflows and ensuring they quickly see the value of the software. Product tours can take different forms, such as step-by-step -step walkthroughs that highlight UI elements, interactive tooltips that appear when a user hovers over a feature, and onboarding checklists that encourage users to complete key actions. The goal, reduce friction, eliminate confusion, and help users get comfortable with the product fast. Product tours have come a long way. What started as simple user manuals and onboarding wizards has evolved into personalized, interactive experiences that drive product adoption. But where did it all begin? The early 90s, Apple's first product tours. One of the earliest product tours dates back to the early 1990s, when Apple introduced an interactive walkthrough to help users navigate Macintosh computers. These early product tours were simple, but groundbreaking. They provided step-by-step -step guidance for users right inside of the product, rather than relying on external manuals or help docs. The early 2000s, the rise of web applications and tools tips. With the rise of web applications and SaaS products in the early 2000s, product tours evolved from static guides to interactive tooltips and overlays. These pop-up messages guided users through software interfaces, but they were often generic and one size fits all, providing the same experience for every user. The 2010s, user-centric onboarding and adaptive walkthroughs. By the 2010s, companies started recognizing that traditional product tours weren't enough. Long, Mandatory walkthroughs often led to drop-off rather than engagement. That's when progressive onboarding emerged, where users were introduced to features gradually based on their interactions and needs. Today, AI-driven, contextual, and personalized product tours. Now, the best product tours are not just step-by-step -step guides, they're AI-powered, role-based, and contextual. Instead of forcing users through a rigid sequence, modern product tours dynamically adapt based on the user role and goals, their past interactions with the product, where they are in their customer journey. This shift from static to dynamic onboarding has made product tours more effective than ever, helping businesses drive faster adoption, higher engagement, and long-term user retention. Now, not all product tours are created equal. A poorly designed one can feel intrusive, irrelevant, or worse, ignored. So what makes a product tour great? One, keep it short and focused. Highlight the most important actions. Don't overload users with too much information up front. Number two, make it interactive. Let users engage with the software while they learn how to use it instead of just clicking next through a tutorial. Number three, personalize the experience. Not all users need the same tour. Offer role-based or user case specific onboarding flows. Number four, provide on-demand guidance. Users should be able to revisit tours or contextual help whenever they need it not just during their first session. Let's take a look at some real world examples of product tours that drive user engagement and adoption. Example one, Slack's onboarding flow. It uses progressive onboarding to introduce features over time rather than all at once. Example two, Notion's interactive walkthroughs allows users to complete actions within the product itself and they follow the tour. Example three, Shopify setup guide. It provides a customized checklist based on the user's business and goals. These companies understand that a well-designed product tour isn't just about teaching features. It's about helping users achieve success as quickly as possible. Now that we've covered what makes a great product tour, let's talk about how WhatVix can help you build one that truly drives user adoption. WhatFix powers product tours with a no-code, easy-to-build interactive walkthrough, 
AI-powered personalized user onboarding, in-app guidance and self-help support for continuous learning, and analytics to track adoption and optimize the experience. With Webfix, you're not just creating a product tour, you're designing a complete digital adoption strategy that helps users master the product faster and with less frustration. A well-designed product tour can be the difference between a frustrated user who churns and an engaged user who becomes a loyal customer. By following best practices, learning from successful examples, and leveraging a powerful digital adoption platform like Webfix, you can create interactive, user-friendly onboarding experiences that drive retention and growth. Software clicks better with Webfix. And if you'd like to see how Webfix can help you build the ultimate product tour, you can visit our website or schedule a demo today.